Hey guys, so we're headed to Cook and Brown Public House tonight. It's Wednesday night and they've got a burger, beer, and a bourbon special for 20 bucks. So I've heard a lot of good things and we've been amped to check it out. So. And we kind of needed dinner because we had to throw out all of our food because we had no power for two days. Yeah, that was kind of, <laughs> that kind of hurt. So we have no food in the fridge, so we're going out for dinner tonight. bourbon was the Four Roses yellow label and we both got it on the rocks so here is to a lovely Wednesday evening this is the veggie burger I can try to lift it without it falling looks pretty good it's pretty good and this is my burger of the month. I can't wait to dive in. So we just finished the burger, beer, and bourbon special. It was delicious. So the lass over here doesn't really eat meat, but she does do fish and veggies and stuff. And could you describe your sandwich? Like it wasn't a burger. It wasn't a burger. It was like a veg, like a like a seasonal veggie kind of like burger sandwich type thing so it had like squash and apples and like pea greens and uh gooey i can never say it. Gruyere. gruyere the cheese it was so good it was so so good and they make their own potato chips on the side so that was awesome yeah it we would have done a little more in there but it's such a small environment and it it ended up being really loud uh, with just the table noise and everything going on, the music. Yeah. I we didn't, didn't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable with a camera, like, in the middle of dinner. So yeah, was... if we're sitting, I took a couple of shots in the restaurant. I asked permission before we did. Um, yeah. In, in such a small environment, I don't want to be the obtrusive dude walking around with a camera. Right. But they were totally nice about it. They were fine with it, so that's cool. I got the monthly burger special, which was a burger with Gruyere, bacon, and some form of sauce, which was not a standard sauce. Um, almost like a spicy mayo-ish type <laughs> thing. I couldn't exactly describe it, but uh, it was really good. I definitely want to go back in and check yeah. out. Uh, their fall menu looks like it's all based on small plates, uh, which seems to be a thing going on in Providence now. There's a lot more tapas restaurants and yeah. restaurants focusing on small plates. Um, Which I like. <laughs> I know this video might be a little darker than our last one because we're filming this one at night. So just. I, uh, I don't even know if you can see us. I can't see myself in the, the screen right now, but. <laughs> but you can at least hear us. You can hear us, yeah. I'd also like to say the bourbon I had, I'm not a bourbon drinker, and I thought it was delicious. I was actually surprised how much I liked it. What was it, the Four Roses? Four Roses, I think she called it Yellow Label, I'm not exactly yeah, sure. Yeah, it was delicious, and the beer I had was the Left Hand Milk Stout, which I love. Yeah, so uh, the Burger, Beer, and Bourbon Special comes with a set bourbon and a set beer that they choose. Uh, Nicole was actually lucky enough to get the last left hand milk stout because I know that's one of her favorites. <laughs> we definitely let her grab that one. And I got a German Dupel or something. Uh, after the left hand ran out, they offered us two varieties and uh, that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the bourbon as well. I haven't had Four Roses before, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for it. Yeah. It's a good deal. I mean, for the amount of food you get and the amount of drinks you get for 20 bucks, it's it's pretty awesome. So, the burger was fan fantastic. If if not the best burger, definitely in the top 5 burgers I've ever had. Um it was I ordered it medium. It was juicy. Uh all of the accoutrement on it just melded well. Uh, and they make their homemade brioche buns. Oh my god, yeah, the bun was really good. 
So if you get a chance, check it out. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back here. Maybe we'll come and get brunch here one day and do a daytime video at Cooking Brown, but. Yeah, this has been a tough, it's tough to film at night. I'm not really sure how we can get around that. But. Yeah, we're gonna have to, I don't wanna have a spotlight on us. No, I don't wanna do that either. But. <laughs> it's a bit much. We're gonna have to figure a way out to lighten it up yeah, a little bit. We're a little basic right now with our equipment and how we do things. And if we do something at night, if it's this time of year, you're not gonna see much. If it's, you know, once it gets lighter again in the spring and summer, it'll be a lot easier to do this. But this is kind of, it is what it is. <laughs> so we're calling it a night. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we're gonna catch you next time. Later. Later.